All right, hey guys, this is Baron, back for another tutorial. Um, I've had a few questions about getting better sound quality out of FL Studio. So the first step, I don't really have a preview for you, but just know that if you do the step correctly, your stuff should sound better automatically, sound quality wise. Okay, so basically the goal here is to make what you hear when you play in FL Studio be as close to what the exported file sounds like. So you're going to do that in the export tab. So click file, go down to export, and there's two main file types that are kind of commonly used. Um, there's WAV and MP3. Those are both audio files. If you click wave, you can find somewhere to save this at like my desktop. Um, so here in the wave section, this is the bit depth. The less bits you have, the lower quality your recording is going to be. The more bits you have, the higher quality it's going to be. Okay. So if you wanted the highest quality wave possible, you would click 32-bit float. Now, for most people, when they first open FL Studio or they first start using it, um, in this quality section right here, it's automatically set to linear or six-point hermite or one of these lower settings. Now, if you look in the top left corner over here, it tells you the quality and about how long it's going to take to export these. So pretty much any time you export any audio from FL Studio, you're going to want to go for the 512 point sync. So the 512 point sync. You click that, it'll give you this warning, um, which you're going to have to ignore. But this is going to make a huge difference in your sound quality. All right, and make sure you have HQ for all plugins checked. Okay. Now that's for a wave. An MP3 is basically the same. You're going to go up to the file tab, go export, hit mp3, find a place to save it at. Okay. Now when you're on the mp3 mode, this wave box here doesn't matter. You need to go down to this mp3 slash ogg box. Now if you're buying mp3s off of Beatport, they come as 320 kilobytes per second files as the bitrate. So you can set yours to 320 if that's the requirement for a remix competition or something you're doing and that'll give you pretty good quality or if you want you can go all the way to 450 or 350 and it'll just give you even better quality. Now make sure you have the resampling quality set to 512 point sync and HQ for all plugins and then you can start your export and hopefully that should really improve your sound and thanks for watching um, check me out on SoundCloud YouTube um, yeah thanks for watching